held. Even though the Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, is holding off now on more changes to the Postal Service until after the election, Congress still plans to take action to make sure service is not interrupted. Congressman Joe Courtney stood with retired postal workers and veterans outside the Willimantic Post Office today talking about the bipartisan bill called Delivering for America. It aims to ensure the Postmaster General's changes don't happen until the end of January or the end of the pandemic, whichever comes later. The changes would have eliminated overtime which could have backlogged mail delivery. He also wants to remove the blue collection boxes, change post office hours, and close mail processing facilities. The congressman says many are terrified their votes are not going to be lost, or wind up lost and not counted. And the notion that they were going to treat that as bulk rate mail, which takes 10 to 15 days versus priority mail, which has always been the case for absentee ballots or mail-in ballots, uh, is an outrage. For a person that has no postal experience, to affect operational changes will be a disaster. Many veterans like myself rely on the post office to get their medications and information regarding the VA. Congress is expected to consider legislation to block the Postmaster General's changes and provide funding for the Postal Service during a Saturday session in Washington.